Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature an effect pedal from Keeley Electronics. This is the Keeley Red Dirt Overdrive.
Miss Janet from Davis Guitar for passing me this uh, pedal for review. Um, all right, so the thing is that you know me, I've been on the quest to find out which are, are the best overdrive uh, pedal, and I've been through this whole journey for the longest time ever, ever since before, um, even before the YouTube channel started or anything like that. Uh, but I think it got a little bit better as time goes by, especially during the, uh, the reviewing of products and the reviewing of a lot of effects pedal. And I come really close to uh, a couple of the pedals. Well, this one is nearly there. You know, the, the one that's on the top of my list right now is the Dirty Shirley. But this is almost there. All right? So this is basically an overdrive pedal. You have a true bypass switch, in, out, 9 volt power supply in, and there's a Three knobs here, so that it takes uh, the drive, the tone, and the level or volume, and a real bright LED light. You know, don't let it get into your eye; <laughs> you go blue for a while. <laughs> and then you have a dip switch here, which uh, let you have a low to high uh, mode, right? In a way, in a mode, and it, it does uh, make a difference in in, in terms of tone. Uh, volume, so probably it's just pumping a little more gain into the drive section and there is a difference in tone if you switch it up between these two. So the signal chain is the guitar into the Masumi, uh, the new X Masumi uh, compressor which is just a light compression and then into this pedal and this pedal right into uh, my interface and into my door which I have a, a Line 6 native uh, twin reverb kind of amp uh, setup and of course you, you hear the uh, reverb and the delays from the Line 6 uh, Helix itself, the native itself. Um, and I'm telling you, I really like what I'm hearing uh, from this pedal. So basically you have a drive, you know, and the drive is really wide range. So you can go from really semi-clean, really cleaner and semi-clean, to um, really dirty and really um, overdriven. And of course, if you switch on the, uh, the the low to high, then you're gonna get like really overdriven uh, sound. So that's pretty cool. What I like about this pedal is the tone. Now, basically, most of the uh, cheaper uh, effects pedal, the, the the overdrive effects pedal, will have like a tone, and you know, it kind of like you're gonna have like a, a a sort of a limited spectrum for you to play around with, mostly from maybe. 1k to 5k or to maybe more than 8k so you're going to just play around with that and some of the better ones have a wider range this has a real wide range and you can go for really like um uh, sort of like maybe i don't know like 500 hertz kind of boost to 1k to 2k 
to 3K. So you're going to have this whole different spectrum of, of EQ that you can actually play around with. And these are the EQ range. Uh, that is uh, really um, obvious when it comes to uh, EQing the tone of guitar. You know, I'm talking about like 600 uh, hertz, you know, to 1K and then 1K to about 2.3 or, you know, 2.5. And hence, well, from 3K onwards to 5 or 6K. And that's where it stops because right after that, you know, you, your ears can't really pick up anything. So in terms of, um, of a distortion guitar, like, you know, uh, 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 a grounder or you know or stuff that you want to use for a rock guitar you probably have that region uh, between that, that that spectrum so it depends on you and your guitar and the way you play on which frequency to kind of boost up and which to not boost up so this gives you that the ability to kind of sweep into that frequency that you want if you are doing uh, a solo and you're kicking this in to boost up your solo, then you can kind of like, you know, find out the frequency that you want and just dial in and just kick in this pedal whenever you are doing a solo. If you are doing a grounder, you know, a rhythm, a distortion part, then you can kind of keep, uh, you know, dial in that, 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 that tone so that it doesn't be too obvious, you know, <laughs> so it doesn't protrude too much. So you can, you know, bring up maybe the low ends and not really the high ends. So it stays in, in, the, in, in, the, in the music mix. So there are many ways of uh, utilizing this pedal, you know, um, good addition to the pedal board if you want to now obviously there's no booster there's no like a uh, secondary uh, switch for you to kind of boost up the level you can always get another booster if you want to but I find that this is a really great overdrive pedal uh, by itself and that got me thinking that sometimes pedals are are, are are best when they are like individual like you know this is an overdrive pedal and then you have a a, uh, uh, a booster pedal or something else and, and not like all into one Good, you know, all into one it makes sense because you, you, you're talking about the real estate of a pedal board. And some of the, you know, all into one or two into one or three or two into one, they are really great pedals and I've seen some of them and I've played with some of them and they are really nice. But sometimes I, I just wonder whether this is the way to go, like individual pedals. So, you know, let me know what you think about this and uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. So, in any case, this is a great pedal. Uh, units available in uh, Kiwi's website as well as in Sweetwater, where you, you guys are from. Uh, if you're in Singapore, you can pop on down to uh, Davis, and I think this is the only one left, so you can pop on down and get it from them. You could, right? So let me know what you think about this pedal and leave a comment in the comment section down below, like I said. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, press that bell for notifications of future videos, and be part of the Patreons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank you guys. I thank all my present uh, Patreons for their love and support. Thank you guys. So in the meantime, you guys, please take care. Uh, Christmas is around the corner. So I wish you all a blessed Christmas ahead. Take care, guys. God bless. Ciao.